Democrats are beginning to panic as increasing numbers of young people are walking away from the Democrat Party, and that is true by whatever metric you want to use. Polls are showing increased Gen Z support for Trump, or if you want to look at internet culture and where that is headed, either way you want to split it, I think there is a reason why AOC got pissed at Vivek Ramaswamy for making an appeal by the Republican Party to young people, and we're going to react to this entire drama here today. So folks, I'm Vince with Resist the Mainstream. If you enjoy our content, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so we can continue bringing you videos like this. But it seems like the Democrat Party is still pissed off about what Vivek Ramaswamy said to young people at the RNC a few weeks ago. So let's take a listen. And our message to Gen Z is this. You're going to be the generation that actually saves this country. You want to be a rebel? You want to be a hippie? You want to stick it to the man? Show up on your college campus and try calling yourself a conservative. Say you want to get married, have kids, teach them to believe in God and pledge allegiance to their country. Because you know what? Fear has been infectious in this country, but courage can be contagious too. That too is what it means to be an American. So there you heard Vivek Ramaswamy again making a rare appeal by Republicans to younger generations and one I thought was very strong, but clearly AOC had a problem with it and this is to be expected because as I said in the beginning, I truly believe Democrats are starting to panic because that dam is starting to break with young voters and with a lot of demographics that maybe were once part of the core Democrat coalition. But anyway, she went out to say that, quote, young people people don't take well to bigoted leaders who attack LGBTQ plus rights, outlaw abortion, cozy up to gun manufacturers and oil executives and supporter is for president. If you want to be cool so badly, try giving a damn about other people beyond yourself might open a few doors. So again, you can read into this, but what I really see there is nothing but panic. They are genuinely afraid in many ways that the young people, especially the young men, are starting to wake up. And Vivek Ramaswamy went on Megyn Kelly's show recently to fire back against AOC's comments. So let's take a listen to that. The AOC tweet, which you refer to, reads as follows. Young people don't take well to bigoted leaders who attack LGBTQ rights, outlaw abortion, cozy up to gun manufacturers and oil execs, and support a rapist for a president. If you want to be cool so badly, try giving a damn about other people beyond yourself. Might open a few doors. So the problem here is the young people are taking well to yes. Republicans. These are not things that Republicans stand for. Yeah. But they are. That, so she's just pronouncing this is what they want. And yet the polls are showing us something different this election. Absolutely. And that, I think, is just the beginning of a tidal wave that's coming. So she was responding to a section of my speech where I directly addressed Gen Z. And again, it's fishing in their pond that they're offended by. That would be revolutionary. At, absolutely. And, and I think the revolutionary thing right now is to say something maybe different than what you're expected to say on your college campus. Call yourself a conservative. True. Is what I said. And I do think that that's the more rebellious move today. Totally. But nonetheless, one of the interesting things about the tack she took is she at least was a little bit more elegant than some of the CNN people trying to wrap it around a policy disagreement. Let's just double click on that for a second. She talks about gay rights. This is the Republican platform right now is the Republican platform as it exists today at this convention is not opposed to gay marriage. No. She points to abortion, women in their bodies. Literally, this has said it is a not a federal issue. Donald Trump, to myself, when I ran for president, to now the Republican Party, opposes a federal ban on abortion. So part of their strategy now, Megan, seems to be there's only four months left on the election, until the election. Just tell the voters something other than the Republican policies, because the actual Republican policy platform is quite appealing to most Americans. So we can't compete on that. Just assume for the next four months we can tell them that the Republican platform is something that is other than what it actually is, and maybe most voters won't notice. And Case in point, by the way, Project 2025, literally not Trump's agenda, literally has nothing to do with the official campaign or anything. It's a think tank in Washington. It's ran by the Heritage Foundation. But this is the Donald Trump agenda. Same old talking points. Notice how they can never attack us on anything that is honest or actually reflects what the campaign message is because there's nothing to do there, right? So they, you just got to make stuff up. And it might be their best bet, actually. If you think about it, winning on the merits in this short of a time with the numbers looking like what they are, instead, people get their news from different places. Just bet on the fact that enough Americans are going to think that Republicans support a federal ban 
Kamala Harris and Joe Biden have both said Donald Trump would sign a federal ban. That's false. In fact, he's taken heat from Republicans yes. for saying that right. he's opposed to a federal ban. Right. That's right. But their strategy now seems to be less on the merits and even less on the histrionics. It's one of the forks in the road for Biden, which I can come back to in a second. But the remaining strategy is just lie about what the Republicans actually believe and then just hope the voters don't believe notice you. between now and November. No, 100%, but this is all that they can do, right? And Vivek Ramaswamy reiterated a similar sentiment when he directly responded to AOC on Twitter. He said, stop misleading your followers and admit the real reason you're freaking out is that we're picking off your voters. Have a real debate on the merit instead of the lies. Give it a try. It'll be good for your party and good for our country. And that's the thing is that, look, you might make an argument and there's plenty of people who are going to say this. They wish the GOP platform outlawed abortion or went after gay marriage or something like that. There's definitely people who disagree with pa aspects of the Republican platform from maybe a more conservative side. But the sheer fact of the matter is this. If you're going to argue in the context of politics over what the Republican platform is, read it, right? Read it, actually represent what it is. What does the RNC platform say? What does Agenda 47 say? But instead, all that they have in this election, Vivek is completely correct, is because the actual, not the made up, but the actual record of Joe Biden, and hence Kamala Harris because she is the VP, is so bad. And because when you look at what Kamala Harris actually said in 2020 it's indefensible the only line that the democrats have to run with in this election is just to speculate on things donald trump might do in many cases is things that he has never said like he has never said anything about supporting a federal abortion ban but instead they just try to make it up they say that's what trump supports trump literally says no i don't yes you do even though you never said that but it just tells you everything you need to know they have nothing to run on that is honest, but Vivek is perhaps right. It is also important that conservatives push back against the lies because we know the media is not going to do it despite their obsession with fact checking. They're never going to fact check a single thing that actually the RNC platform does not say that Agenda 47 does not say that Project 2025 is not part of the Trump campaign. So that said, I guess it is our job because yes, if we have a debate on the merits and the actual agenda and platform of each candidate, you would easily find that Donald Trump wins with most Americans, whether they're in the center, to the right, or even perhaps the center left. And by the way, I would argue that has always been true, right? The actual policies, the actual ideas that Donald Trump has proposed have been popular for years. And that is precisely why all the Democrats have ever been able to do is say, orange man bad, he's a threat to democracy, he's a Russian spy, all this different nonsense. And now what are they saying? Project 2025. He supports some type of mystical abortion ban that, first of all, does not have the political support to happen anytime soon. And secondly, Trump has never said he supported. But it just goes to show you the sheer desperation of a political party that is losing its coalition. They lost white working class voters about a decade ago. They're now losing the union workers. They are losing young people. They're losing Hispanics even, etc., etc. And that's all. That's all they can do, right? Is fear monger. You're leaving, you're walking out the door because our ideas suck and our leadership sucks. But listen, don't you know about Project 2025? It's all a bunch of crap. It's all a bunch of nonsense and fear mongering. So with that said, folks, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But until next time, I've been Vince with Resist the Mainstream. Peace.